Hello and welcome back to Stumble Day, and this is episode 108 of my Direwolf 20. 1.18, let's play. All <laughs> this <laughs> smoke. Oh. <laughs> oh, I'm so sorry. I'm just kidding. <laughs> In today's episode, we are going to take what we got from last episode and hopefully turn it into something useful. Uh, <laughs> but I have been a little busy. I made this huge area over here so that we can start building reactor. I wanted it a little bit away from the base. Uh, just because if it if it does explode, uh, bad things happen. Um, but I figured this is far enough away, right? Uh, and I got like uh, four chunks over here, and, and part of like two more, like half. Uh, but this should be a plenty, right? Right? Let's go off the room. Uh, but I kind of prepared a little bit. I prepared some auto crafting recipes. Uh, now, all of my mechanism auto crafting is on the refined storage network. So I put a little uh, network transmitter over here so that boom, I can get <laughs> to our network. And I added a bunch of crafting recipes over here. Also, we can like remove some of these because we've got our HDPE pellet thing in the jobber. Let's do this. Uh, we got all this. We got all our fissile fuel done. Whoa, that was a mess, right? Um, and that leaves us with this. Uh, <laughs> there's still more to this setup than I just have here before we get completed and I probably won't even be able to get to a turbine today maybe we'll see how we do on just getting the the fission reactor up and running and from my understanding going fission versus fusion you have to start with a fission reactor because the fusion reactor uh, requires polonium and you have to do to get polonium you have to do a fission reactor so you have to do a fission reactor first um, there are also ways to power turbines without using a reactor which would be cool to look into um, but I need the nuclear waste Ooh. Um, I need the nuclear waste to process it so we can get polonium and plutonium. So we have to get this guy going. We have to use our fissile fuel. By the way, <laughs> what's it? Uh, I'm not used to being on a server and I had my server going. And so overnight, um, let's do this real quick. Overnight, uh, this little guy <laughs> completely filled up this ultimate chemical tank. <laughs> so the, it actually uh, got all back stuffed. Uh, it's completely full. Uh, so that's good, right? Uh, since we're not, not going to be able to turn that on. Um, I put a little level emitter up. I don't know how you get it to read from, from an import bus, um, but I couldn't get that to work. But this works because it's shutting the machine off itself. Uh, I had a redstone card in here, but even though I, I thought I had it set up right, it just, it just wasn't working. Uh, so I wanted it to cut off at like 10,000. <laughs> and just stop making HTPE sheets. Um, especially since like I ran out of Vitalgrow and everything. So 
all of this stuff was empty uh, just a little bit ago. Uh, so yeah, <laughs> overnight it kind of overproduced and got like 22,000 sheets. So I'm hoping that's enough. <laughs> I'm hoping that's enough. Um, I may actually I may put another, let's put another one of those over there so I don't have to keep running. What is it? A teleporter? Yeah. And I guess what was that going to take? There we go. I guess I need um this will also give us uh access to our power over there as well. It's not too far away. It's just, I guess, right here. Put him here. Boop. Put you there. And there. Awesome. So now we can call this um, I don't know what to call it. <laughs> uh, vision reactor. <laughs> uh, check. There we go. Now we can beep up around and aha oh yes that's that's the stuff that's the stuff okay so hopefully i've set all my crafting recipes up and they'll go off without a hitch so um i'm not sure what size i need to make this to support what size of a turbine <laughs> um so all i know is the max size fission reactor is huge it's 18 by 18 by 18 and i don't need i don't think i need that um so i'm just going to i don't know maybe do a let's do this reactor uh now this doesn't have the fuel assemblies uh, let's just make um a couple of these now i read that okay we're gonna need a fission reactor we need one of one or two of these logic adapters to be able to shut it down if it's necessary so i'm going to get two just in case yeah and i think you have to have like four uh reactor ports one for uh your fuel input for the fissile fuel uh, one for water input one for steam output. Oh boy. <laughs> I'm going to make four because I know there was a, another one. I'm just not, just not remembering it. Oh no, it's night time. <laughs> Say hello to my little friend. <laughs> ah. Aha. I forgot. Um, <laughs> I forgot about night time. All right. Um, so we have our four here. Let's just throw these guys in there. And um, we'll also want some glass. Oh boy. Um, Oh, 
Okay, sorry about that. I <laughs> uh, had to get some stuff straightened out. Which, you know, real life. Um, let's see. Let me get that in there. Okay, there's our reactor glass. Before I was so rudely interrupted. Okay, so I think... For now, until I find out, I guess, otherwise, I think I'll just make uh, maybe a 7x7 seven by 7. By seven? Uh, now this might not be enough. Hopefully it will... I mean, I can always get more, so... And uh, there we go. Now I have a uh, I was like, I'm just not used to being on the server and having it run all the time. <laughs> I have even more resources than uh, available than I did before, so that's crazy. Um, uh, because of course my miners are going 24/7. Uh, that's another thing that I have to. Uh, really be careful about with the reactor is that if I if I leave it running the server will be running too so I have to kind of plan that out as well if 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 there could be a chance that it might explode I might need to you know uh, shut it down before I log off looks like I'm gonna need some more glass um, let's just get some more of you. It didn't take too long at all. Um, I'm, I'm really excited to get past the fusion reactor, uh, or the fission reactor. Uh, because the, uh, what is it, this, this oh. super critical phase shifter oh that's so cool i love the the tesla coil thingamabobber okay um let's see this might be enough okay uh so now we need our vision fuel assemblies and control rods oh did i make Yes, I did. So let's count. If uh, so one, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, twelve, thirteen. Is that right? And then so that's five, fourteen times three. So like one. 52. Did I do math? If, if I counted properly. There we go. Um, now I I did have a fission reactor going in my ocean block, but I found that I could not run it like indefinitely and it didn't produce as much power as I thought it would um, because I couldn't supply it with enough water uh, to really do anything with it. It wasn't, it wasn't. <laughs> I don't know. Let's 
Now this one uh, is a little bit different than the uh, big reactor reactor in that the control rods actually don't go in the top layer. They go right below the top layer. So in the big reactor, the, the control rods are actually part of the, the outside layer. So that's kind of interesting. Uh, I guess I did. Oh no, I guess I did my math right. Because everything's coming out good, and I have enough glass to finish this off. Uh, plus, we just need to put in our. Oh, it already formed. So we need to put in our reactor logic adapters. Um, let's kind of put these, I don't know how close these need to put together. So I'll maybe put them like that. So I'm trying to think, um, we could have like Uh, water going in here, our fuel going in here, and then we could have um, our steam coming out here. And there was one other vision, there was one other thing that I am forgetting about. Let me see. Oh, 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 okay, okay. The last one is for nuclear waste. That's what I was forgetting. Because uh, that's what, that's why we're using this thing for in the first place, is to get, get that waste. So there we have it. Uh, now we have to, uh, Yes, get our configurator. Let's go ahead and put these guys away. Get our configurator out uh, because with the configurator you can change. Uh, I don't know. Is would it have to be items? Pinch. Rotate. No, I think it's. Uh, let's just say items. There we go. To output waste. No, we want this to like be input. Input only. That sounds right. So that was on the, the right setting anyway. Um, on my other reactor in Ocean Block, I had pumps, like so many pumps hooked up to it and they were never ever enough to keep up with it so I don't know I'm gonna I guess do a sink and see how that goes Uh, probably not very good. Narrator. <laughs> oh no, I off. did it again. Narrator. No. Off. No. 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 All right, so let's get you being out. All right. Um, and I've read something about, um, is that how you do it? Is 
supposedly if you have add extra pipes on it um increases the flow rate or something like that Let's kind of take them off. I don't know. I can't tell if it's doing anything. But yeah, as soon as I would turn it on, even though I had it on such a low uh, setting, it would just like gobble up all my water gobble gobble uh yeah because it starts off at like point one okay so we got water i don't know if that's enough uh let's just go ahead and put that there uh, so up here i guess will be the steam output. So let's do this. Output waste, output coolant. No. Is that is that going to output steam? Heated coolant tank and waste tank. Okay, uh, so what, this was for waste, so output waste. That's right. And then you were for fuel. To a, does it have to have? Now I do have some fuel that we could pump in. I could grab this uh, this tank off of here real quick. And way back out there. Um and I guess this needs, oh, I don't have those kind of cables. Uh -huh. um, let me see if I can actually get them out. This is for gases. I only have the basic one. still not coming out oh because I might have to tell it to output out top there we go now it's draining so we have this little fuel for a little while go it should keep us busy for a little bit Okay, uh, so our output right now is probably going to be very low for the nuclear waste. Got about the nuclear uh, waste. Waste. Uh, there are these radioactive waste barrels. Um, I think the best way to do it is to get a lot of the waste barrels because they have a decay rate of one millibucket for every 20 pigs uh, but one millibucket with one thing isn't going to I forgot about this so oh it's it's easy um, Easy peasy. Just get one of them. And we'll set that up like right here. 
Now, I don't know if nuclear waste would be a gas or a liquid. I think it's considered a liquid, maybe. Um, so let's put this guy. Oh, you know what? Uh, you might only be able to put it in through the top. No. Maybe it is a gas. Uh, let's try that. Aha, it is a gas. Okay. Uh, so let's get there. Now it should hold that. Now we have to do is dun dun dun. Hold on a second. No, that's not an accurate depiction of the time. Uh, but we're doing we're doing all right. Uh, the only other connection we need is to output the steam once we turn it on uh, because it really is like a closed circuit. <laughs> uh, so let's see, do I have enough room? I think I'll just put it over here, I guess. I have all these chunks loaded. Uh, now, the turbine is actually a little bit more um, a little bit more complicated, I guess. Um, you have to have electromagnetic coil layer. Oh boy. Okay. <laughs> so I think, um, let's, let's try and get some of the do turbine there we go uh turbine casing now i'm assuming that this is going to be uh just like the the same structure as the reactor <laughs> uh you build the frames and then you can use the reactor glass uh to make those. Uh, you can use the reactor glass uh, just like you did on the reactor. Oh no, it's dark again. <laughs> okay, what do we got here? We got some of these. Um, let's go ahead and get Ah. Uh, we'll get another two stacks back. Right. Easy peasy. Oh yeah. Um Okay, I remember the turbine vents. Uh, 
let me see. Um, all right. Um, let's go ahead. Uh, turbine bow. We're probably going to need uh, two of these, one for input and one for output. Correct. Take the steam in and then to send the water back out. I don't know how many... I don't know how many... Um... Okay, I should have uh, should have done uh, better <laughs> better at preparing for this. I didn't think about how many of these. Let's say if I do, did I just sleep? Okay, uh, so let's say I'm going to come over here. I'm not sure if I want this to be 5x5 five five or 7x7 seven seven as well. We'll do 7. Go now. I don't know. Okay. Um, let's see. There's supposed to be math involved with this, but I, I don't um, have to do that later <laughs> and maybe adjust. But for now, I just want to get it set up. Four, six, seven, ten, eleven. Why not? Yeah, I forgot about the uh, math part. You can actually calculate how big you need to do your turbine, I guess, based on how big your reactor is, question mark. Uh, maybe. So turbine valve. Now, I don't know if this needs to be part of the... part with the uh, the heat vents. This is where the coil comes in. Hang on just a second. Okay, sorry about that. Well, it's a little bit more complicated <laughs> than, uh, than I remember. So I spent a little bit of time just finishing it out. If 
find valve. I don't know why it says that I need two turbine valves. Um, this wound up being um, 13 tall. It said something about each coil uh, supports four blades. Um, so that's why I went with eight. <laughs> uh, but the, the numbers don't match because um, like the, the coils, I just used nine because there was space for it. Uh, and I put a lot of dispersers. I had to go and make several more uh, recipes like for vent. No, I had the vents. Uh, it's like the dispersers, the pressure dispersers, and uh, the condensers. The saturating condenser. Uh, so I added those recipes. And I got everything hooked up, I think. I don't know what the second um, valve is for. Does that, uh, because I couldn't get the pipe to connect to it. So I don't know. I don't know. Uh, but the power did connect to it. Uh, so I'm curious. I want to turn it on. Let's activate it. Now this is on like the lowest one. Is it? Here comes the steam. It's actually producing steam now. Is it? Uh, are you getting steam? Totally, I need to shut this off. Uh, <laughs> because steam is a gas, it's not a fluid. So I think that's why I need to, I need to change this one out. Uh, but the other one needs to be fluid because that's going to be pumping the water back in. So, I think, okay, I don't know, um, this might not be enough, it's pressurized. go. Um, too bad. I, I don't think I have these in the autocraft. I would sure. Hold on a second. And ta-da! <laughs> um, there we go. <laughs> Ultimate pressurized tube. I might not need them all, but there you go. I'll just have them and there we go. Yeah. Oh, look, it's already got the steam in it. No, it doesn't. It just looked like it did. All right, now we need to put this to output. Did it? Yeah. Empty. Oops. It's still empty. All right. Let's see what happens. Uh, now this is on like low burn rate. But I'm just testing it to see. Is it coming over here already? Oh, 
here's the steam input. Oh, look at that. Um, oh, is that what... It's starting to turn, buddy. Check that out. Um, now, it's only producing 4,000 FE intake, but this is just, I just wanted to make sure, like, my connections were all good. Nice, it's got a 4 giga internal buffer. That's pretty cool, but I got that set over here to be pumping out access denied. Okay. So cool. <laughs> it it is working, but it's not optimized or anything. So it's not going to be producing a lot of waste. So I'm just going to go ahead and shut this down and i will play with it some more off camera hopefully you guys got some uh some tips for me i can't see i don't know why my Mila is not working if they take it off Am I looking at it? Show details. Um, I guess that like I get did they change that? Um about the probe the one probe oh, I guess they don't have that either what the heck what the, what the heck man I need to see stuff anyway <laughs> Oh, we got this. Um, I'm. I wanted to see how much nuclear waste we got, but I can't see. Um, maybe. Oh, I don't know if I can do it. What was the mechanism? No, it's um pneumatic. Oh, okay, what if I do shift I? Um, there's supposed to be Uh, oh well i will figure it out anyway <laughs> we got this thank you for watching and we'll see you next time bye bye